What is good YouTube family? Welcome back to another video guys. I know it's been a hot minute since I posted a video. It's actually been about a week. But guys, I'm back with another video. Yeah, I know. It's not an install, but you know, I'm, I'm really out here trying to grind for you guys and I'm trying to be as transparent as I can be as a YouTuber and, and just be 100% honest with you guys. So if you guys would like to stay to the end of the video and uh, I'll just give an explanation of what I got planned and what's going on. There's actually a few announcements that I want to make. So if you want to stay to the end of this video, go ahead and do so. But without further ado, guys, we're going to get straight into the video. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. I got my notes right here, so I'm gonna be looking down a little bit. Now guys, in this video, obviously as you can tell by the title, it's gonna be the five tips of how to daily drive a manual car like a boss. Now before I start explaining to you guys what those five tips are, I'm just gonna say real quick, these are my own personal opinions. You might not completely agree with me and, uh, and the five tips that I'm gonna give in the order that I'm gonna give them. Um, so, I mean, it, it is what it is. You know, these are my opinions. This is how I feel. And, and I daily drive a manual car, so I'm just giving you guys what I think are my five tips in order um, of what you need to do in order to daily drive a manual car like a Bosch. Now, if you disagree with me, make your own damn video and give your own five tips. We're gonna kick this off with the first tip. Pause. <laughs> <coughs> Choosing the right car. Now, uh, as obvious as this sounds, you're not gonna enjoy daily driving a manual car that you don't wanna drive, that you don't enjoy driving to begin with. So that's why I put this as number one. You gotta personally enjoy the car. If you're gonna daily drive it as a manual, you're not gonna enjoy driving a manual car that you don't like. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And even if you're not a car enthusiast, which would make no sense if you buy a manual car, unless you live in a country that, uh, that only have manual cars, uh, to buy a manual vehicle but uh, even if you're not a car enthusiast you know the car it's still gonna be something you're gonna enjoy driving every day it's something that you're not gonna get bored of and uh, and you're gonna have a blast driving even if you're just going to the supermarket or something like that because trust me after a while driving a manual car can become annoying especially if you if you personally don't like the car and that's why I decided to kick it off as number one that's gonna bring me to tip number two properly learning how to drive a manual car yeah and I know these tips are gonna sound super obvious but guys it, it is what it is you know it, it is what it is if you're gonna go out and you're gonna drive a manual car and you're not a hundred percent comfortable driving a manual car it's just gonna be terrible for you and just being keeping it real with you guys it's gonna be not a fun experience you're gonna want to return the car get something automatic and automatic cars you know they're not as fun as manual cars and, and it's like a manual car just helps you be more able to multitask because you're doing a lot of things at the same time. You're steering, you know, if you're turning, you're putting your, your blinkers on, you're shifting gears, you're putting the clutch in, you're giving gas at the same time. It's a lot going on. So, I mean, to me, it, it just makes for a more fun experience, but you have to be able to know what you're doing uh, in order to feel comfortable in the streets, on the road, driving a manual car. Because personally, I bought this car not knowing how to drive manual, and it was a wreck the first couple of weeks, honestly, guys. I really didn't enjoy driving this car. Um, I was more afraid than I was excited to drive my car, in other words. Um, I was more worried, especially when I was on hills. And uh, one time I got stuck in a long ass hill in a in a long traffic, and uh, and it was torture. I The car must have shut off on me maybe four or five times, and it was super embarrassing, guys. Um, so my my um, my suggestion to you guys is find a buddy that drives manual or or buy a manual car and before you are ready to hit the road, really really just learn how to drive it. Learn when to shift gears, especially you know you gotta know your car. 
uh, and you got to know what you're doing like you're gonna you're gonna shift gears uh, according to what you're trying to do if you're trying to say get off the highway and you need to speed up obviously you're not gonna change to the next gear until you hit like 7,000 6, 6,500 rpms or if you're just cruising around like I am right now to have safe fuel economy you're gonna you know shift around 3,000 rpms that's just things that you're gonna learn uh, by just going out and practicing at home um, you know before you hit the roads because like I said guys it was not a fun experience when I first started learning how to drive manual cars it, it was a wreck it was a wreck for me and it was scary let's get into the third tip that I'm gonna have for you guys and that's gonna be but losing all the bad habits and learning all the fun tricks for example in a manual car you can downshift you know there's tricks like that that you can learn you can downshift rev match stuff like that that you just can't do in an automatic car so learning those cool tricks uh, it's just gonna make for a more fun experience you'll be able to do much more it'll it'll just be you know it'll just be a more enjoyable ride it's also gonna be losing all the bad habits for example you know not rev matching when you downshift uh, keeping your hand on the on the shifter you know just some bad habits that you're gonna want to lose as a manual driver that sometimes we don't realize number four is just gonna be two simple mods that I recommend to everybody that has a manual car each mod has a specific reason and I personally did these mods to my car and it completely changed how it felt to drive this car now uh, the first mod is gonna be upgrading your uh, your shift knob um, and as simple as that sounds it could have a huge impact on how you feel driving your manual car for example I do have a heavyweight shift knob as you guys may know it weighs about four times with the stock shift knob weighted and it completely changed the driving feel of this car now the second mod that's gonna go with this tip is gonna be upgrading your exhaust system and some people will be like well you know I don't want an obnoxious exhaust I don't want to be a ricer you know I'm not talking about those far cannons you know as you guys know I'm not talking about no far cannons I'm talking about a nice tone exhaust an exhaust that's gonna give you a nice you know a nice sound that's gonna open up your engine and and uh, just allow you to hear you know your engine better it's gonna make you a better driver it's gonna allow you to to know when to shift you know to know when you're doing something wrong to know when you're hitting those rev, rev match perfectly it's it's just gonna make you an overall better driver believe it or not and for me I experienced this myself when when I upgraded to my spec D tuning exhaust it, it made the car feel so much more fun to drive I was able to hit those rev matches on point um, I was able to heel toe like a pro um, and overall, I uh, I feel like that was probably the best thing that I could have done to my car. All right, guys, we're just gonna stop here for a second. But like I was saying, definitely upgrade your exhaust, definitely upgrade your shift knob. It's just gonna be so much more fun that way. And uh, yeah, it'll make you a better driver overall. Now that brings me to my five tip, and this is where we're gonna end the video. We're gonna close it out right here, um, and that's gonna be that's gonna be practice. And yeah, as cliche as it sounds, practice makes perfect and uh, I can speak from experience guys when I first started driving manual it was not the funnest thing for me I didn't really enjoy it at first but that's because I didn't know what I was doing so I decided to go out and really really focus when I drove I used to just drive and not really pay attention to what I was doing I used to just drive from A to B without really focusing on my shifts without focusing on my downshifts so until I really started paying attention to my um, <clears throat> my tachometer and exactly where the RPMs were exactly where I was shifting listening to my engine through my exhaust um, I didn't really hone in on being a good driver overall until I started to do these things and those are the five tips that honestly just turned daily daily driving a manual car into something that I can enjoy and it made it into something that I, I wouldn't mind doing every single day in and out now guys let me get into the quick announcements that I wanted to say as you guys know this is a car channel and I like making car videos obviously I want to modify my BRZ as much as I can but recently I'm in the process of trying to move out of my house and trying to get my own place trying to get my own space so really I've been saving my money and uh, I haven't I haven't been buying any mods or trying to upgrade the BRZ or anything like that because I just been grinding at work and, and uh, trying to learn some side hustles so I can make some extra money legally obviously I'm not talking about no illegal actions out here but um, that's the reason why I haven't modified my car I have a few savings saved up now for the past couple months um, 
so I, I feel like you know I'm gonna go ahead and purchase maybe the the fourth the third brake light I think it's what it's called I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the third brake light uh, this week coming up and I guess we'll do that into a video and um, and we'll take it from there but I'm gonna be start I'm gonna start doing small upgrades to the BRZ I know you guys really want to see that turbo install but you know it, it's it's harder than than what it seems and uh, like I said I'm just trying to be more transparent with you guys and be a hundred percent honest with you so um, yeah I hope you guys do stick around the turbo install is gonna happen I just need a I need to get out of my house right now find a, my own place um, get this side hustle going and, and make some money I'm going back to school as well so it's gonna be a lot happening um, but I hope you guys do stick around for it and uh, you know it, it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun things are gonna start falling into place and I hope you guys do stick around for that but anyways that's it I'm done renting guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss a video we're going to just keep grinding, guys. I'm going to go hard. Remember to savage responsibly. And whatever it is that you do, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.